What's up guys, Zach Man with a quick video update on today, June 26th, 2018. Um, here's a quick little chart, uh, we're looking at Chon, or, uh, Tron right now. Um, I made to add some lines so we can kind of see the support and resistance here a little bit of where it's been and stuff like that. So um, right now as you can kind of see we're down, uh, we're a little bit below 4 cents right now. But you can kind of see the trend line here, we're kind of bouncing around this little territory right here. So eventually... Uh, it's got to give way, so either we're going to continue down to the next support or we're going to break some resistance and kind of work our way back to that resistance and then bounce around some more and then hopefully hit that one and then so on and then we'll kind of bounce around uh, up, hopefully. Uh, especially after everything's said and done with, but we're still in a kind of a down market. So uh, that is just a little bit of a prediction there. Obviously, I'm not 100% guarantee that's going to happen. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor, so don't go ahead and pour your money in there. But uh, Bitcoin... Uh, again, that's, you know, kind of up right now from the low, but it's kind of, you know, still staking around that 6,000 mark. So, um, we have some news. Uh, Yahoo Finance just listed uh, some uh, coins. Uh, it listed uh, Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash. And guess what? It listed Tron, Litecoin, uh, Stellar, and many more. But obviously, these are the majority of the, the main ones that uh, are probably more recognizable, that is. So... Uh, so yeah, that is uh, listed on Yahoo Finance right now. Um, so basically, everything's pretty much, uh, they just got done doing the coin burn, so they burnt a billion uh, coins. So uh, yeah, that's pretty positive. So so far, so good as far as that goes. Um, and obviously, uh, everything, the migration's all done depending on which exchange you have. Uh, you know, I know I think it was going to take two to three days to migrate it from the um, Ethereum network to the actual Tron network, or Tron 20, or Tron X20, I think it is. Um, so it might take, uh, you know, two or three days. So depending on what exchange you're using, we'll kind of vary on that. But so what what, what do we need to expect next? What's going to happen next, basically? So the next phase for Tron, well, now you start to see the super re uh, representative election in process. Um, basically, it's uh, it'll go on to allow to elect a new super re representative team. We will be able to bring more news about this as the election goes on, of course, and I'll keep up to date on that as well. So, basically, uh, as Tron uh, embeds it, it's a new blockchain, and as the new TRX token takes over, we do expect the value of TRX to start to rise in line with an increase in market capitalization. So, uh, Justin Sun, the founder of Tron and the Tron Foundation, aims for the TRX to become the second most traded cryptocurrency in the world. So that's one of the goals for Justin Sun is become number two. Obviously, we'll never be number one. Well, you never know, I guess. But uh, that's kind of uh, where Bitcoin is at right now. So uh, who knows what's going to happen in the future. But anyways, um, you know, it might take a while for it to happen. But at the time, uh, as this article is being written, like I said, Tron's right around four cents. So, you know, it might, it might take some time, but eventually in the next few months, it'll probably get up there. I know I was reading another article. I don't have it. I couldn't find it. But uh, basically, Justin Sun, um, when it came to Ethereum and Tronix, Tron, uh, he said that is more like Microsoft and Ethereum is more like IBM. So, which I thought was kind of interesting. So basically, what he was trying to say was is IBM is more, uh, you know, toward and tailoring stuff to make things easier on the consumer uh, versus uh, Tron, like I said, it's more like Microsoft. So it's pretty much everything. Uh, it's kind of how he was trying to explain and explain the difference between Tron and Ethereum. So uh, that's kind of one thing that he said it was. It says that Tron is more like Microsoft and Ethereum, which he said was good. You know, Ethereum, they, they got a lot of you know good technology going on over there, but they're more like IBM when it comes to the crypto world so i thought that was from some really cool news so uh, but yeah that's uh, all i got for you guys today i just figured I'd, uh, you know like i said I mentioned that yahoo finance now listed uh some of the cryptocurrencies tron being one of them and kind of uh, the next few days they're going to be doing the uh super re representative election is going to be happening tomorrow i believe would be the final day for it and then kind of you know kind of hold uh Hold out and wait to see what happens next, guys. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell if you guys want to get uh, notified when I do my next videos tomorrow. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching, guys, um, and have a great day.